Is my big focus is trying to figure out what is causing these problems to begin with so that way you can fix that and not have to be on medications. I mean, there's research that shows that 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription medication. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Because Adulting is Hard podcast. I'm Alita. This is Heather Hartsock um, from Arri Revive Med Spa, and we're doing this again. We're doing this again because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Today's topic is going to be hormones. It's something that I, Heather and I have talked a lot about probably over the last three years. I mean, long before we thought about a podcast, have we been talking about how we're going to talk to women about hormones? Um, We'll, we'll talk about men too, but I mean, I'm a woman, you're a woman. It's, it's kind of a little bit easier. So one of the first things that I wanna talk about is that Revive Med Spa um, provides a plethora of services related to hormones. So let's start there. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I wanna start a little bit further back. My biggest complaint was coming from, I love my OBGYN and I don't really have a primary care doctor because I'm self-employed. I mean, I'm, I'm self, I pay cash for my insurance benefits. So I kind of negotiate all my own things. So I don't have a primary care doctor. And the reason why I don't have one is typically the response that I get when I go to the doctor and I ask about things in particular about hormones is, oh, it's all fine. All your levels look fine. They're within the, no, the normal range. You're fine. Here's an antidepressant. You're depressed. And I'm like, ah! I spent years doing this. So let's talk about, that's how I ended up at Revive and kind of on this quest to learn more about something that I knew absolutely nothing about and apparently it's very complicated so t let's start there let's talk about what revive offers mm -hmm. and then we're going to talk a little bit about what you're looking for when people are coming to see you okay so at revive med spa and wellness we have um it's two separate buildings there's one building that's all aesthetics all the beauty stuff the facials botox fillers um and then we also have our wellness side which um, we do IV vitamin therapy. We do injectable um, vitamins. We have a medical weight loss program that um, is super busy that we never even advertise, but people just find their way to us um, to try to help them get healthy. Um, so can you give us what your background is again so that they know, so the me? people that, yes, so that they weren't here last time. Okay, so I am a um, board certified family nurse practitioner. I have been a nurse for 23 years, which... People are going to say, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's okay. For a long, long time. Uh, a long, long time. Um, so I've been in the medical field for about 25 years because I worked in the hospital before I started um, when I was going through nursing school. But so I have done OB-GYN, labor and delivery, ICU, family medicine, pediatrics, aesthetics. I do a lot of wellness and integrative medicine. Um, and the integrative medicine, that stuff is not taught in school. And is this, so when you're saying that term, define that term for me. So it's more like Western medicine has a more disease focused um, approach. We are a reactive, right. in my opinion, our medical system is reactive right. to you have symptoms, let's, let's treat the symptom. Right. Let's treat the symptom, let's give you this medicine which to me is a band-aid for whatever the problem is. My big focus is trying to figure out what is causing these problems to begin with. So that way you can fix that and not have to be on medications. I mean, there's research that shows that 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription medication. Um, that's a lot because each medicine has a side effect that then you have to take another medicine to mitigate that. And it just goes on and on and on. And you wind up 20 years later on 10 different medicines and you didn't need any of them in the first place. For, for something that was underlying. So when a woman comes to you in particular, I know my, my experience, but when a woman comes to you in particular, what are the types of things that women, yes, we can talk about men too, but mm -hmm. m men have been studied for years. There's a low T center on every corner. So I'm kind of interested in the female aspect of it. Um, so talk to me what it looks like when a woman is coming to see you and what type of information they need to bring to you. To me, part of it is just openness to, yes. to say, I am here and these are the things. So tell me what, what a typical woman looks like coming to you. Well, a lot of times, um, you know, we have, we're, have, we have more word of mouth referrals. We don't spend a lot of money advertising. We're not out promoting all of these things. It's more 
Um, somebody said that they came and they saw you and they feel so much better now. They're living life. They have energy. Their marriage is better. I want what they're having. Um, but they don't know exactly what is wrong because nobody's ever been able to figure it out before. They go from doctor to doctor to doctor. Sometimes they'll go to chiropractors or wellness-based medicine, and they don't know what's really going on. Um, you know, our lifestyles these days, our food is not as healthy as it used to be. People have way too much fast food, processed food that has all these fortified things in them, but it doesn't help our body. It's not feeding our body. And so we're full of toxins and all of that affects our body as well as as we age, our hormones change, our receptors change. And so we're just not as healthy as we should be, but we're living longer, but to what cost? So women will come and see us and they're tired, 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 tired. They have no energy. At the end of the day, they don't even want to be around their husbands or their children. They just want to go to bed. Um, so we talk about that and then we start learning that they're, you know, not just tired, but they're overextended with different things. They're not eating healthy. Their marriage is suffering. They have no libido um, and they just feel terrible. So a lot of times that's what brings them to us. And that's what I've found too, is that a lot of women that I speak to about things that have been happening to me, I'm like, hey, have you ever had your vitamin D checked? Because that's a, that is a, to me, that was one of the things I, I it wasn't even on my radar. Hey, I think I've had problems in the past with my hormones, birth control and I are not friends. You know, we have a love hate relationship, but something is not right with my vitamin D. And that's something that you and I talked a lot mm -hmm. about. So your hormones, when we're looking at the whole picture of a woman, especially when I, when I, I'm going to call it the holistic approach that, mm -hmm. that Revive does. I'm not going to say that they're a holistic completely, but to me, it's a whole lot more holistic than the, my standard um, doctor. They're, you're looking at the whole thing. So talk to me about, you. Just, so they come into you, they tell you they're feeling bad. Um, I really think that it has to do with, you need to come to the table with how often are you having sex? I mean, let's go, because that's a huge indicator in women. Hey, um, yeah, I haven't wanted to have sex in, in an entire month. Okay, sister, that's not right. <laughs> that's not going to work for your marriage either. Um, wh what did your period look like? You need to have that information yes. down. I tracked my moods for a long time because I was like, okay, it is on. I can tell you it's right here and right here. I don't know what's going on with my cycle, but whatever it is right here, I am a raging bitch. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it is. That's the. Those are the things that I came to yeah. you and said. So those are the things that the that people that are interested in these services need to know coming to the table. That's why I like. Yes, I like having a female. Some people don't mind, but I can look at Heather and she can say, I know you, Alita. That's not right. The tears, when when the chronic tears. So as people are coming to you, they need to be open and honest. And they also need to be understanding that the whole body is, yes. is interconnected here. So yes, some of the weight is connected. Some of it's to do with food, some of those things. So when they come to see you, you're going to do a comp, the first initial visit is going to look like what? So we have a very comprehensive questionnaire. Okay. You know, of course, all of your medical history um, for women, their menstrual history, their pregnancy history. You know, we live in a world that um, we are constantly getting extra hormones from our meat and our cheese and our milk. There's estrogen in the water because people flush their pills down the toilet. And so our levels are not just what they are naturally by our ovaries and our adrenal glands and everything producing what they're supposed to be producing, but we're getting all of these xenoestrogens from other sources. So we get a lot of information on their, um, their dietary habits, their family commitments, what's going on with their spouse. That's an hour long visit, correct? Yes. Usually about an hour. It's, it's very, it, there's a lot of information going back and forth and I need our patients to be very open and honest because if they leave something out, then that makes me not be able to treat them as well as I might be able to. And some things are very personal that you don't want to share with people. I have people tell me things that nobody else knows about them, but because I know that I can help them. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it changes the relationship in there. And especially for women that, I mean, there's something that happens at 40. We've talked about this mm -hmm. before. There's something that happens at 40 where your body just it does not settle well all the time as you're moving into menopause. And, and the more conversations I have with women, the more conversations I know that they're not having those conversations with people that they're just suffering or they're on a handful of, 
of medications right for For whatever it is so that appointment's gonna it is gonna be cash pay for that 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 appointment's gonna be 150 dollars. yes after that you there's several different routes you're gonna discuss kind of a treatment plan you're gonna do a blood draw Mm -hmm. right yes so we um after that visit we do send you for a comprehensive blood work um we check much more than your normal family doctor, your gynecologist. We're not just looking at basic blood work. We're diving into inflammatory markers, vitamin deficiencies, your cortisol levels, um, where you are in your, for women, their hormone levels, you know, they change every second. Um, So we're checking all of that. Um, For that, we can send the bill to your insurance for your insurance to cover. And for those people that have really high deductibles or don't have insurance, we also have a cash pay option. And it's a great option. Much more, (laughs) yes, makes it much more affordable. Um, Because the blood work by itself, if you went to Quest and paid, it's going to be about $4,000. But, you know, our cash pay option, it's under $300. um, But we'd like to have all of this information so that we can help the patient feel better. And because there's a big difference between what is considered medically necessary for your insurance mm-hmm. to cover and what actually is still a problem. Like as a, I'm just going to throw out a weird number just because I'm 17.1 mm-hmm. and the cutoff is 17 17.2, so I don't qualify for me- that doesn't still mean I don't feel like shit. Right. <laughs> well, and for um for your insurance to cover a vitamin D panel you have to be vitamin D deficient. Well, how do you know that you're deficient if you've never had the blood work done? So it makes it very difficult sometimes to have the insurance company pay for it. So that's why we do have this cash-based option as well. So to me, I'm looking, when you're talking about it as a, as a getting in, it's about a $500 commitment for a year's worth of service. Now, right. not including your blood work, but that's the way that it is with insurance. I understand that I'm a mm-hmm. self-pay person. So but you're, you are then able to come back and revisit you throughout the year, correct? Yes, so we have two different options um, for our women. Mm-hmm. If they decide, because we only use bioidentical hormones at Revive except for the men's injectable testosterone, which is a synthetic testosterone. Um, but we, for women, we offer creams, which are bioidentical, which means that it is um, chemically the same that our own bodies make. So our body doesn't understand the difference between them. So it's, it, it just works better that way. Um, but if you do the cream route, then after that 150 for the initial visit, okay. it's 350 for the whole rest of the year. So all of your visits to see myself or Amy Wilson, our other nurse practitioner, those are covered as long as it's hormone related. And to give you an idea on cost on that hormone cream is I get it done down at um, Edgewood Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. He's compounding it right there and it's about $85 a cream cash pay. Yes. So that's just for a month. So that's, I mean, to me, again, a person that's not insured that gives Mm -hmm. you an idea of what the cost is still cheaper on a long run. Right. And insurance companies typically will not pay for um, hormone medications that are not synthetic. Um, the synthetic ones are big pharmacy. Um, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Your, your insurance company will cover what big pharmaceutical is producing, yes. but not necessarily what. Yes. Yep, that's a whole nother topic. So We're not even going to go there. That would be five podcasts. Right. right. But um, so it's between 40 to 80, depending mm-hmm. on what you need. Some people just need testosterone. Some people need estrogen and testosterone. Some people need estrogen, progesterone and testosterone. So it's everybody's different it's a complicated beast and it needs to be monitored and it and it's a lot like people that i talk to about adhd medication it's not a one size fits all you don't get to go in and give one i'm here i want the magic formula you have to come back and give feedback if it's still not and we have to do a lot of kind of tweaks and adjusting and watching how you feel because you know your own personal hormone level that your own body makes it's not the same every day. It changes every day. So there's a rhythm to each person and we have to kind of try to figure that out so that we can help manage that person the best. And so um, this is a huge topic. Heather and I are gonna do this. I mean, you can see we just, we we could talk for days and days and days about this, but I I actually think the next topic we're gonna talk about is vitamin D because Mm -hmm. it is something to me that is under talked about. Um, It's actually, I've read in a report from psychology something that said it's actually on the leading forefront of asking psychiatrists before they put anybody on an antidepressant is to begin to require a vitamin d test because it's that important because it's it's a it's not a vitamin it's a hormone that's correct and in women in particular 
something happens and you don't absorb vitamin D the way that it does, I'm not gonna claim to know anything about that, but it is something that I wanna continue to talk about because vitamin D is a game changer for me. So for someone that had a, to me, what was a significant, the way that it made me feel was crazy. So they are gonna get a hold of you how? So they can go to revivemedspawellness.com mm -hmm. or they can look us up on our Facebook page or they can actually give us a phone call. I never remember our phone number, so I brought it here. So it's 409-299-4785. Okay. Uh, Tyler will include that up top, so yes. we'll have that in all the places for y'all. they can come and see myself or our other nurse practitioner, Amy Wilson. She's also a family nurse practitioner, okay. and all she does is our wellness services. I do both our aesthetic and our wellness services. Amy focuses primarily on our wellness services. And if they mention this podcast as they're booking, there's a 10% discount yes. on, on any of on your on your initial hormone visit there. Um, both men and women. We didn't talk a lot about men today because I didn't want to. <laughs> it's my <laughs> podcast, and so, I don't have to. A lot of information. It is a so. lot of information. So I think that um, along your journey, though, we've been talking a lot of in this podcast on health and wellness. And one of the big things is getting outside of modern medicine and really looking at what's happening in your body and, and taking control of your own health. And it's you know it's not just waking up and going throughout the day doing whatever. You have to make a conscious decision of how you're going to live. Are how what gonna, am I eating? What am I eating? How much am I moving? the people that you surround yourself with, the stress that you take on, you know, even caffeine. I mean, all these different things come together to make you either healthy or unhealthy. So you have to make that conscious decision of, okay, I'm taking charge. I'm going to mentally think about how I'm going to live mm -hmm. so that I can live better. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Um, thanks for joining us again on the Because Adulting is Hard podcast. And remember to live happier because adulting is hard.